Welcome guys to building a manned sta space station with an SSTO and here it is all this lovely glory with all those rapier engines which I had to work out to get it into orbit but basically this is an SSTO it'll get into orbit and it'll build a space station not with the payload no 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 we're gonna build it out of the SSTO itself you can probably see the some of the docking ports there on there now so here we are, we're going to take off at 140 meters per second. We should be able to pull up and then gear in. And obviously, for this type of adventure, we need Jebediah. We need the best pilot possible. So this is a concept that I've been trying to work out, try and rack my brain around and get in fully function here. Because, well, it's not because no one's done it. I'm sure someone probably has. Uh, I've done it once, I suppose. But basically, all I want to do is sort of like transform the craft we send it into orbit into a space station with a function. Yes, basically there are two mining rockets on the side of this which will land on the man, mines more, bring it back into the space station. I've tested them out and they've got enough fuel to land, mine some ore and take off and get back to the space station. Uh, what I didn't realise, what I didn't work out is if that ore is enough to fill that rocket up. I think it's just enough to fill that rocket for landing the miner on there. Okay, so a little bit of an oversight there, however, I think that can be engineered a bit better. Probably a larger fuel tank so we can carry more ore. That's for a future workings out. Basically, I want to make sure that I can get this into orbit around the man and build it into space station. Obviously, I know what's going to happen, but you guys have to wait further on into the video to find out. <laughs> anyway, trying to get this into space was a bit hard because Basically, when I get up to higher altitudes, about 20 kilometers, I wasn't going fast enough. You probably saw there's a load of Raper engines. I'm not sure if it's a co combination of my lack of knowledge of the engineering of SSTOs in general. I couldn't work out how much Delta V you need, and it looks like I've, well, I downloaded some Matt Lone's crafts and it, about 10 to 13 meters, uh, 1300 meters per second. Basically, I'm still having trouble trying to balance the amount of rocket fuel and the just liquid fuel that the nuclear engines and the rapiers mainly use when in the atmosphere. So that was, that's the hardest part, that's what I was trying to overcome. Anyway, this thing now gets into orbit. So a bit more fiddling, I think I'm slowly getting the hang of it, or just basically getting the feel for how to build and fly SSTOs. Right, now we're coming up to the critical part, getting into orbit. Okay, so right here, in my, one of my videos, I asked, can you stage an SSTO after you get into orbit? Now, when the camera flips, that's what I'm going to be doing. But I'm still going to be calling this an SSTO because it gets you into orbit. So as soon as the camera flips, that means we are in orbit. And I can dump the excess engines and the bottom wings revealing all the parts that we just require. Uh, I didn't think it through because some of the intakes are still attached to the craft by here. Anyway, let's switch to some nice karma music and then make our way slowly to the man because we've only got four measly nuclear engines on this so it's going to take a better seven minute burn to get to the man. Now it's probably best for me to note by here that I've underestimated the amount of fuel we need to require for this mission so on the if we do have enough fuel to get to the man and get into orbit but basically so we have to use the fuel in the landers the miners of this craft to be able to get to the man and get into a proper orbit we could have done a highly elliptical orbit around the man but then that means that our miners won't be able to land and get back to the space station <laughs> And if you're wondering how do you get to the man in the most efficient manner, basically you want to get as close as possible so you can mi make great use of the Olber effect. Anyway, there was me showing I didn't have enough Delta V and then pumping fuel into the main craft from the landing rockets. Ah, uh, damn it. I have to re-engineer this at some point. Or perhaps redesign a new craft because in this one we have to get rid of the wings because they don't serve any purpose on this. Perhaps I can segment the wings a bit. 
put solar panels on the wings, make them separate in segments, and then attach them together with docking ports. But there is enough docking ports on this. In fact, when it was taken off, it was sticking about seven, six frames per second. Basically, what I'm saying is this video took quite a while to do. Anyway, now we're getting into orbit using the RCS to just get the right orbit height, and then here we are. The space station is going to be built out of an SSTO. I'll let you enjoy this without me commentary. So this is it, the space station. Tell me what you think, if you think it's awesome or if you think it's crap, just let me know. It's obviously not an easy feat to do, but anyway, Leo's one of the miners, and obviously I used Hyper Edit to fill the fuel up because we used it to get in orbit around the man. And yes, I did crash into the space station the first time I tried that shot. <laughs> but hey, it's not Kerbal Space Pro without a few explosions. Anyway, here we are, coming in for landing. I'm using, I'm not using Mechture by here by the way, because I found that it kept on stopping and causing problems. But I am using the SAS to make sure that we're pointing downwards. Now obviously I don't know where to go from here, I'm not sure whether to continue with the SSTOs, or should I just continue doing um, rocket missions and perhaps mining the man, owning the man I think series I was doing, for I'm not labelling owning the man so. So basically, let me know what you want to see, and if some of you are new, tell me if you want to certain tutorials, because I have done several, I've got loads of tutorials up on my channel, which probably half of my subscriber base subscribed for, and I haven't done many tutorials since. So let me, let me know, because, well, I'm not running out of ideas, but I just basically want to know what I should do. Perhaps if you guys let me know what I should do, then perhaps I can make it fun and make it a bit more of a challenge. But don't think anything ridiculous challenges. Because if you want ridiculous challenges, go to Matt Lone's channel. He does SSTOs to everywhere. If you're looking for exotic craft, I think um, Shadow Zone does a lot of that. Cupcake Landers, Hadazish. So yeah, there's plenty of KSP users there. Perhaps you just want a normal game. Or perhaps not. Anyway, here we are, a lovely shot of the space station and where it transformed from. So what do you think? Awesome or not? I think it's bloody awesome. 
Anyway, I'm Orbiter. Trust me, I'm an engineer of SSTOs to space stations. They don't go back, by the way. Anyway, click on something else here now.